In this video, we're going to show how to copy a range by selecting the current region. Now, to get started, first off, I have the sheet already set up. I'm going to go ahead and click Record Macro. And we're going to do Copy Range using Region. The reason why we are going to want to do Use Region is because this data right here is being retrieved from a system that, it, that has all of the callback percentages for agents in certain departments. And right now we only have data up to December 1st, 2011. When we refresh this data, we're going to have data for January 1st, 2012, February 1st, 2012, and so on. Rather than selecting just a certain range, like A4 to N4, which would only be fixed up to N4, we would miss out on data that has O4. So what we're going to do is select the region that way it will capture all the data that is tied together. Now we have the macro already set and going. We're going to go to home. You want to select A4. This is the start of the table or the region that we're going to be getting. Hit find and select. Select go to special and look for the option that says current region and select OK. All the data has been highlighted. We're going to right click, copy, go to sheet 2, and let's just go on and paste it in A4. Paste. And there you have the data set up. I'm going to go to our developers tab and stop recording. And that way we can see what the code looks like. We're going to do copy range using region, edit. Here we have range A4 that we first selected, which was in sheet 1. And we do selection dot current region dot select. This is the line that was created. Selection dot copy. And remember this copied all of the entire table. We selected sheet two, paste it into A4, which gives us the results that we have right now. Now let me show you what this does and why you're gonna want to have this kind of option, this kind of macro. If we were to refresh this data and we were to get another column in here. And let's put 1-1-2012 and I'm just going to copy one of these columns and set it over here. Using our traditional code that we had in a previous example which was just copy range we were fixed to just a certain range A3 to M3 or in this case I know I, I moved some stuff around A4 to M to, to N4. Now what we're going to do instead of being fixed on that we're going to do copy range using region before we do that, I'm going to clear out this sheet right here. And we're going to go, it, it should now capture data up to January 1st, 2012 because we're selecting the region starting from A4. So let's run the macro. Run. And there you have it. I'm going to extend these columns so the dates aren't. Okay. So the dates are showing. It was able to copy all the data up to January 1st, 2012. Now, if we were to add two more columns, I'm going to leave the dates the same as August 1st, 2011 and 9-1-2011. Run the same code. I'm going to clear this out. Macros. Run copy range using region. Run. And it copied all of the data within that region. This is very helpful because many times you may work for an organization where you're refreshing data from some type of intranet website and columns may be added and you may not be aware of it. Using the current region, you'll be able to copy that data and paste it into a different worksheet where you can work with it and do other operations. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.